Hi folks! Uh, this is Jason Van Gumster here. Apologies in advance for anybody's name who I mangle. I have the privilege this week of doing the top five. So what do we have this week? We have a whole bunch of programmery goodness. We're, we're, we're controlling clouds, we're helping machines learn, we're using C-sharp, and we're doing stuff with learning programming. New languages as well as just learning programming in general. It's a week of filling up space for your brain case. <laughs> At number five, we have four new OpenStack how-tos and guides from Jason Baker. So if your interest is in controlling and managing your own cloud, then Jason Baker has the stuff for you. It'll help you clear away the fog and get your brain wrapped around OpenStack. At number four, we have a book review, Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn and TensorFlow. So how about dipping into machine learning and artificial intelligence? Lakshman and G reviews Aurelian... Jerome's, man, I'm really sorry if I mangled your names. He's got a book called Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn and TensorFlow, and those are Python frameworks that are, are really good for learning, for doing machine learning. So, great article there. At number three, we have more than just apps. Five innovative uses for C Sharp. If programming C-sharp in the .NET environment happens to be your thing, Alistair Chapman has five very cool projects in C-sharp that will be... Well, they're very interesting and, and using C-sharp in, in unconventional ways. The tools cover the full gamut from simple scripts to code that writes code. That writes code, that writes code, that writes code. At number two, we have five ways to succeed at learning a programming language. So, you're in the throes of your journey of learning a new language? E. Dunham has an article that can help you get some steps so that you get up to speed with confidence. At number one, how to get started learning to program. Of course, you might not be learning just a new language, you might be learning programming from the fresh, right? So that's where Vicky Bresser comes to the rescue with a series of steps on exactly that, learning how to program. And she'll help you get from zero to your first tabs versus spaces argument in no time. Don't, don't worry if you don't get that reference, you will once you start slinging code out. It's clever, clever and witty. Trust me. And that's about it. Talk to you guys next time.